Okay, well here's the, the completed first section. Okay, a, little, a couple of things to note. Um, when you put these top pieces in here, um, there'll be a gap on the bottom where you need to insert the bottom pieces. So just make sure you clear that gap out and just get any glue out of there. Otherwise these bottom pieces won't fit in uh, neatly. Uh, also these pieces here on the side, these can be a little bit hard to get in. So you might want to trim these little gaps here and trim the tabs on either end so they can be pushed in. Basically when you put it together you put these pieces on and then you put these two side pieces on here and then lastly is this piece at the back here. That goes on last and you'll need to put it in uh, from this angle and then push it up straight. Okay so that's it if you look at the pictures it's a pretty straightforward uh, build. Uh, the last thing that goes on is, is this piece here with the, the magnet in it. Just glue the magnet in with a little bit of glue. And that's what it looks like. Okay, just uh, one thing to note. Uh, it's a little bit different to the plan. We've got a, a cutout here. Whereas on the plan it's got two, uh, two circular cutouts. Uh, these cutouts are if you want to put um, uh, standard servos in. Okay, so that's just why that looks a bit different. And also one final thing you can see here this is uh, this is the forward direction here and we have to make sure that when we put this piece on here the motor mounts are slightly off to the right hand side so the motor mounts are slightly pushing off that way okay because we want a little bit of right thrust don't don't put it on back to front or upside down because then it will point to the left okay so remember right thrust on the motor and that's the first section complete.